Well, we are in the studio with Matt Ray. Thank you very much for thank coming you for, over. Thank you for having me. So you may be familiar with Matt Ray as Matt Ray with an ensemble called Those Damn Horses. Here you are doing solo. What's more pressure, solo? <laughs> Is it freeing to be on by yourself or um, nerve wracking? It's it's both, I think. You know, um, it's definitely uh, more nerve wracking in the sense of you're 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 pretty naked there on stage. You know, there's not there's no other people to work with or perhaps hide behind. Um, at the same time, though, it's it's pretty. Uh, there's a lot of a freedom to kind of play whatever you want to play. You don't have to worry about other people knowing it or you know catching along and things like that. So. Um, so I, I kind of like both of it, I guess. I've been, I've been, uh, I started out with a lot of solo stuff and then kind of worked into bands and now I'm doing a little more solo stuff and I uh, enjoy both of, them, both of them quite a bit. Is the songwriting different? Uh, pro yeah, probably, I think. I think in, uh, in uh, the context of a band, um, I tended to write more songs that were, uh, that would be played in, by a band out in a, a bar or a festival, things, things like that, whereas this type of music I get to play in some other places where people sit down and listen to you. So I, I would say it's a little different. Writing for the band tended to be more energetic, faster paced type stuff, I would say. And whereas this context, it's, I get to do kind of a little bit of everything, some slow, some medium, some faster stuff, and I, I enjoy that. And tell me a little bit about your songwriting process, melody or words first. Y usually it's the words. Um, Honestly, most of the time what happens is I come, I, I think of a, a line. I'll start with some line, I'll, and I'll, well, that's a good one. I'll write that down. Um, and sometimes I never, ever get back to it. Um, and sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll use that line, and, and that'll be the basis of, of what I want to write about. And then um, as I'm writing it, I'm typically kind of working out a melody in my head, trying to figure out what, what would go with the, the lyrics that I'm, that I'm you know, writing. And every once in a while, I guess there's, there's a couple songs um, you know, where I, I do work it on, on, the, on the instrument first. Um, and then try to find you know some lyrics that'll fit into that context and that and sound appropriate, I guess. There's a couple of songs tonight that have like a good humorous hook. Where is that on purpose? Is that? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, like one of the things I really like about this, like I said, this kind of uh, music is people listen to it. They actually get to listen to the words and hear the words. Where um, a lot of times in a in a, in a large ensemble band type of context, loud bar, loud room. I don't think people hear so much the words as they do as the, the driving of the music. So, um, so it's kind of fun to actually have words and, and hear people react to, the, <laughs> react to them a little bit, whether it's laughing or, you know, wh whatever it is that we do. But um, yeah. There's a lot of humanity in your music. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration. I really like that sort of observational, everyday kind of um, songwriting, I tend to kind of look more towards the Woody Guthrie type, you know, this is what I'm seeing going on <laughs> in my house, in my uh, community, in my, you know, world, what, whatever it is. A couple of last questions. Yeah. One, you just recorded a new uh, album, solo album. Yes. What is it about? Where can we find it? Uh, I actually have two. I just released a, an EP th earlier this week, actually, um, and that's available on, you can just go to my website, uh, mattray.org and you can find it there um, and that's just a bunch of about eight I think it's eight songs that I just for whatever reason never got around to actually recording on a on a record or anything so I just decided to kind of put them together and, and throw them out there but over the course of the winter I recorded a, a full-length album down in Minneapolis with uh, Ryan Young and uh, Ian Alexi from the uh, Hobo Nephews is, is producing it he's been helping me kind of do some arrangements and things like that so that's that's been pretty interesting and kind of new for me um, to have that sort of input and hopefully it'll be out in the summer. That's what I'm hoping for. It's, it's all done being recorded. <laughs> now it's just a matter of the other kind of the post-production stuff. So. And what's the future hold for Matt Ray? More solo, going back to a band? What, I, what do you think? You know, I, I really like doing the, the, the solo stuff qu quite a bit um, because there's you only kind of, kind of, it's only you you got to worry about, <laughs> you know? Um, but that said, I, I, I really do, I like playing in a, in a large band context, and I can surely see that happening again, absolutely, at some point. It's just a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, but a little, bit, a little bit of everything. You know, right now I'm just focusing on this, this kind of style of music and see where that takes me. Great. Thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thank you.